Hi guys, so welcome to this third installment of the But How Do It Know companion video series. So today we'll be picking off where we left off uh, last time and we're going to be looking at the material from uh, the chapter called Simple Variations on page 18. More specifically, we'll be looking at uh, two uh, logic gates that can be constructed using uh, the NAND gate that we saw in the previous video. So the first one that we're going to be looking at is uh, the NOT gate. So the NOT gate can be made very simply uh, from a, a NAND gate uh, by simply tying both of the inputs together. So the NOT gate basically has one input and one output and it is also called uh, an inverter. Uh, truth table for the NOT gate is very simple. You give it uh, a 0, it will output a 1, and you give it a 1, it will output uh, a 0, and such inverts basically its output. So um, we're going to be working on our little test bench that we had built last time. So uh, I'm going to take a little break here and I'm going to set it up so that we can uh, start looking at the NOT gate. Okay, so I went and rearranged our test bench here so that we can uh, begin working on our NAND gate implementation. So I moved the, um, the, the, out, the output, or the input of the LED rather, from uh, pin 3 to pin 6. And I've connected uh, pin 4 and 5 together using this small jumper wire here. So we'll be using this, this, this uh, NAND gate basically to create our, our uh, NOT gate. So if we go and hook it up, now we can see that the LED uh, turns on immediately. Uh, and in a way, that's kind of strange because we have not connected our input neither to ground or to uh, the 5 volts. And when we do not connect an input, it's called a floating input. And it pretty much randomly uh, picks up either uh, the ground or the 5 volts. So we need to be very careful when we have a circuit and that all the inputs that we're going to be using they all have to be connected either to ground or to 5 volts. Uh, I'll see if I can uh, demonstrate this sometimes when you when you put a wire here and you sort of play around a bit with it with your finger or something it starts flickering and you can see that it's not stable so it's not doing it right now we're kind of not being lucky but that doesn't matter. So if we take this input and put it to ground, for real or firmly to ground, we can see that the LED still uh, stays on. And if we connect it now to uh, our, our power here, 5 volts, we see that the LED turns off. So it's behaving as we expect uh, for uh, a NOT gate. Now the next uh, gate that we are going to look at is uh, the AND gate and we are going to construct the AND gate by simply connecting uh, an AND gate with uh, the NOT gate that we have uh, just now constructed and by chaining these two together the result will be um, effectively an AND gate so um, the truth table for an AND gate is the uh, inverse of that of the NAND gate that we saw in the previous video and if you you want you can look it up in the book it's uh, basically the output is always off except when uh, both inputs are on so uh, I'm gonna go and add basically our uh, AND circuit to um, the test bench and uh, we'll be back alright so for this one it was fairly easy uh, the only thing I did is added uh, this second jumper wire here to connect pin 3 to pin 4. So what's happening here really is that we we're going to have these two inputs here of the first NAND gate. The output's going to be on pin 3. Pin 3 is going to be connected to pin 4, which itself will be connected to pin 5. And um, both these pins will act as uh, input to the second NAND gate, which is set up as a NOT gate. And this effectively should give us 
uh, and and uh, gate behavior. So before turning it on, now I will connect um, the input to ground. And we'll put the power on. So, so far so good. We have both inputs uh, tied to ground and our LED uh, is still off and it should remain off in all combinations of input unless both inputs are on. So we'll go through uh, the truth table. So uh, zero, zero. If we do zero, one, we can see that the LED is still off. One, zero we have the lead again off and the last combination 1-1 one, one, uh, should give us the lead turned on uh, as in a proper NAND gate and we can uh, AND gate sorry and as we can see that's exactly what's happening so uh, by chaining these two NAND gates together we have created the equivalent of an AND gate so now we have our basic building blocks in place so uh, hopefully you'll join me in the next video where we'll be uh, looking at one of the coolest things, uh, according to me, uh, that uh, John explains in his book. And it is really the construction of a one-bit memory. And for me, the way this, is, uh, this happens and uh, the way it's created is really uh, fascinating. So uh, I hope you'll join me in the next video. See ya! Thank you.